Barbie in a Mermaid Tale, a storybook version by Mary Mann Kong. Merlia Summers smiled as she rode the waves. Ever since she was a little girl, Merlia had always been able to swim like a fish. Now she was one of the best surfers in Malibu. As Merlia surfed, she thought everything was perfect until she noticed her hair. It was turning bright pink. Shocked and embarrassed, Merlia wiped out and dove below the waves. To her amazement, she found that she could breathe underwater. Merlia, someone said. A sparkly pink dolphin was talking to her. My name is Zuma. I am a friend of your mother, Kalissa. She is the mermaid queen of Oceania, but she needs your help. Merlia couldn't believe that her mother was a magical mermaid and that she was half mermaid herself. Merlia learned that when she was a baby, her mother's wicked sister, Eris, had taken over Oceana. The fortune-telling destinies had foretold that Merlia would one day defeat Eris. So to protect her baby daughter, Calissa had sent Merlia to live with the human grandfather in Malibu. Merlia just wanted her hair and her life back to the way it was. Maybe my mother's magic can help me return to normal, Merlia thought, so she agreed to help. With Zuma as her guide, Merlia journeyed underwater to the most gorgeous place she had ever seen. Oceana was bustling with colorful fish and fashionable merfolk. Amazing, Merlia exclaimed. We'll have to disguise your legs, Zuma told Merlia. She didn't want anyone to know that the young surfer was in Oceana, especially not Eris. Zuma quickly brought Merlia to the boutique run by her friends, Xyli and Kayla. Tail makeover, Xyli and Kayla exclaimed. At the palace, Eris snuck down to the secret dungeon where Calissa was locked away. The evil mermaid had learned that Merlia was in Oceana. Tell me where she is, Eris snarled at Calissa, but Calissa refused to answer to protect Merlia. Meanwhile, the destinies had told Merlia how to stop Eris. She needed to complete three important tasks. The first task was to find the celestial comb hidden in the Yafo's caves. No mermaid could climb the steep rock wall to reach the comb, but Merlia had legs and she scaled the wall quickly. I've got it, she cried triumphantly. The second task was to impress a dreamfish so that it would grant her a wish. Zuma knew exactly where the dreamfish could be found, in the Adenado current. The powerful swirling water was impossible to swim in, but Merlia could surf it. The dreamfish were amazed. Call me when you need me and I will come, promised one young dreamfish. The third task was the hardest. Merlia needed the necklace that Eris always wore around her neck. Merlia knew that Eris would appear at her daily festival, so she came up with a plan. Merlia, Xyli, and Kayla started singing to distract Eris. You're the queen of the waves, sang the friends. As Eris watched this show delightfully, Merlia snuck up behind her and snatched the necklace. Stop her, Eris cried. The evil mermaid's mantis shark swam after Merlia and ripped off her fake tail. You, Eris cried, realizing that Merlia was Calissa's daughter. Eris quickly captured the young surfer in a powerful whirlpool. Merlia called for the dreamfish. He appeared and offered to return her to her normal life in Malibu. Merlia was tempted, but her mother and Oceana needed her, so she decided to stay and help. Suddenly, Merlia's tails magically transformed into a sparkly real mermaid tail. Merlia couldn't believe it. I am Merlia, half mermaid princess of Oceana, she cried proudly and leapt out of the whirlpool, and it is my duty to protect my subjects. Get her, Eris ordered her guards. You don't need to listen to her, Merlia said. I am the rightful heir to the throne. I have the celestial comb. Enraged, Eris tried to push Merlia back into the whirlpool, but Merlia quickly swam out of the way. The wicked mermaid was sucked into a powerful swirling water and transported to the deepest, darkest trench in the ocean. The crowd cheered. Eris was gone forever. 
Calissa was overjoyed to see her daughter. She wanted Merlia to stay in Oceana. Merlia was happy too, but she missed her human life in Malibu. Calissa hugged Merlia and placed a magical necklace around her neck. Whenever she wished on the necklace, Merlia could transform from human to mermaid and back again. Then you can move easily between the human world and the underwater world, Calissa said. Merlia was thrilled that she would have a home in both worlds.